Welcome back to Ask Lee Wednesday. If you have not um, seen this, these videos before, uh, this is the Ask Lee slot. So what you can do is ask me a question in the comments below on these specific videos, and I will answer them in future videos. All right, so remember to ask your questions in the comments below. Okay, so first question today from Lau Perez. I hope I'm saying that right. It's not law. It is Lau, hopefully. Um, my question for Ask Lee, is there a method, method or methods available to avoid being seen magically astrally in dreams or readings by other occultists or readers? I mean the ones that put obstacles when you are working a target. Um, there are various methods actually um, and it obviously depends on the individual um, and where your skills lie I think mostly. Um, there are a variety of um, Goeshic spirits that you can work with to uh, make or bring invisibility and this is really what we're talking about here um, because what you being what you're doing is you want to hide yourself and because it is hiding yourself in the sense of hiding your energy um, it would be a case of invisibility and what we mean by invisibility is uh, you don't like, you know, it's not like the movies like Invisible Man or anything like that where, you know, just become completely unseen and, you know, you can talk to somebody and they can't see you. And they can interact, but you're not there. Um, it's, it's more a case of not being noticed. So you're not, you, you, you really are being unseen. Um, so what this involves mostly is changing or shielding your energy, your energy body, your energy field, your aura, your etheric body. Um, you know, we have all these different energetic bodies that we speak of. So it really involves that is, is actually either changing. So this can also fall into shape shifting in a manner. So it's either changing or it is shielding your own energetic signature, your, your energetic body. And as I said, you can do that in various ways. You can, I mean, if it's astrally or in dream work or something like that, you can actually change your appearance um, and you can um, make yourself appear and feel like somebody or something different and therefore your energy body won't be picked up by other people. Um, I remember once I had to create multiples of my astral body in order to do particular work so that I would not be attacked by somebody and get around them to stop their attacks. And, you know, that involved multiplying my astral body so that when they went after me, they went after one of these uh, bodies, uh, which were duplicates of myself, really. Uh, so I could then, as I'm going after all of these different bodies, then um, I could go and do the work I needed to do in order to heal somebody who was being attacked by this person. Um, so there's a variety of ways. I think the best thing to, to do is use your imagination. What can you think of doing? How can you think of hiding yourself? How can you think of becoming unseen? Um, and obviously when it comes to magical work, there may be objects that you're working with that you want to hide. Um, if you go back in the Demon of the Week videos, um, I cannot actually remember which one it was off the top of my head now. I uh, should have gone and checked beforehand, sorry. Um, there's There was one or two I spoke of who actually do work with invisibility and they can I spoke about invisibility then and hiding objects um, important things to you you can hide them you can make it so that nobody actually sees that they're there they don't notice um, the things in your presence or in your house or whatever 
Um, so there's definitely ways of hiding things, yourself or other objects. And it really is about shrouding it in this veil of energy which um, makes it unnoticed. Um, so you know, as I said, invisibility really is about being unnoticed. So as an example, you could walk into a room of people and not go up to anybody or say hello. As soon as you interact with somebody, they're obviously going to notice you. But you can you could walk into a room of people and just sit down and just watch and the people will probably not even know you're there. They they won't they won't notice your presence um, if you've been working an invisibility invisibility spell. Um, obviously there are some dangers that come with this uh, depending on what you are doing um, I mean if you don't want to do an invisible invisible well gonna blame everything on mercury you don't want to do an invisibility working and then walk across the street in front of a car for instance that would be a bit silly um, but yeah there's there's lots of different ways we can actually do that um, so yes you can do it methods um, is there a method or methods? Uh, <laughs> something I can think of. Uh, one, work with Goethic spirits that actually do this type of work. Um, two would be the same as shield work, shielding work, where you are imagining imagining a shielding. A, my God, Mercury today with my trying to talk me. me this is great. I love it. Um, where <laughs> you would be shielding yourself uh, in a protective sense, imagining the shield going up around you to prevent any any type of energy coming through to attack you, and it sort of rebounds the energy. That same type of work you can use in order to make yourself unseen. So you would just basically cover yourself or envelop yourself in something which refracts the attention of other people. Um, so that, that those kind of methods work fantastically. Um, as I said, just be careful because you don't always want everybody to or become unnoticed to every everybody you in, interact with. So, you know, just be careful about how you actually go about doing that. Um, all right. Then from... Uh, I've got a little mark over the top of the name here. Right. Uh, venom. Venen. Venen. There we go. Um, dear sir, can you share your thoughts about possessed? Um, I'm assuming that's um, my thoughts about the possessed or possession itself. So... Uh, you know, there are two main forms of possession. One is the one that we hear about often um, and mostly from Christian um, stories or Christian based stories um, and Catholic based stories uh, where somebody has become possessed by the devil, um, they have become possessed by a demon. Um, who carries the name of Legion um, or is possessed by Beelzebub or Lucifer or whatever and they speak in other tongues, they their bodies twist into horrible forms and things like this. Mostly, uh, in fact, I'd probably say in 99.9% .9 of cases, those are astral parasites which have attached to the person. Um, in a lot of cases, it's a psychological trauma um, which uh, is manifesting. Um, are they possessed by the devil? Are they possessed by Lucifer? Are they possessed by Satan? No. Um, no. They're astral parasites. And as I said, quite often it's not even a possession of a spirit. It, it can be a psychological um, a trauma which they're experiencing and is manifesting physically. Um, 
the, on the other side of that is somebody who is working with a particular spirit who, who wants to be possessed by that spirit. And the reason somebody would do this is in order to gain the knowledge, uh, gain the energy which pertains to that particular spirit. Uh, yesterday I spoke about taking on the energy of a spirit in order to attain a goal. So I spoke about confidence. So if you lack confidence, you want to become more confident, you would then invoke um, the energy or you have the energy of a particular spirit which embodies confidence. Um, in that case, you probably would want to become possessed. And in by possession, we are talking about taking the energy into ourselves. Um, now, that is something which you want to happen. You want it to take place. You want to become possessed because you want that particular energy. Um, are you going to be speaking in tongues and climbing up walls? No, not in the slightest. Um, unless, of course, the spirit that you are invoking um, is particularly skilled in languages and you are trying to learn a new language, you could invoke that energy of that spirit in order to aid you in actually learning the, the language a lot quicker and a lot easier, uh, in which case you would be speaking in tongues because you'd be speaking a foreign language to whatever your native language is. Um, yeah, it's not really speaking tongues, but you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, so you have the the possessions which we hear about in the movies and the TV series, and um, but those possessions are either astral parasites or just psychological traumas. Um, and then you get the possession which you want to happen. You want to take in the energy of that particular spirit. And those are usually gods and goddesses, deities, um, divine intelligences. And the energy that they possess is, is an energy that we want to take in in order to help us, in order to attain our goals. So, yeah, that's really possession. All right, so I think that's it for today. Uh, I've, so a couple more questions next week. And as I said, if you do have a question you would like to ask me and have me answer on, on this slot, then just leave the question in the comments to this video and I'll, I'll put it on the list. Okay, so see you next week. Have a good one. Cheers for now.